Arcade Saga, my name is Ilkian Wiesma and uh, today we're going to do another uh, repotting video which uh, has been quite a, uh, quite a while when I did my last repotting video a few months and it feels longer and I just realized that it feels like I was off for weeks which actually I just missed one uh, Sunday, one Sunday video it wasn't the last Sunday but the Sunday before but you may uh, recognize the feeling that you were s uh, when you are so busy with other th stuff for uh, two weeks at least, the last two weeks I was very busy with other things and then you sort of come back with your plans and you feel that uh, your mind uh, has room again for your hobby. It's like you've been away for, for, uh, for way longer than it actually was. Well, that kind of feeling I have now and um, yeah, it's just good to be back. Let's put it like that. So um, yeah, I only missed one video basically, but I, this one is uh, is planned for uh, for Wednesday. But I try to do every Sunday a video, and sometimes in between, and then I like to choose for the Wednesdays, um, which are uh, fun to do the repotting videos. I think this one is going to be my Hurl Alexander. You just can barely see that one flower there. Just uh, let me grab it the plant so you can see why this one needs a repot i did follow this one before on my channel i will put a link in if you like that and then we did split it actually the other part of the plant is just over here as well it's just a smaller part it's doing well it's not as climbing as much as this one does so that's the reason why i'm going to repot it and let me see here we are so we have the water meter oh, here we are there's the new growth i meant but uh, this is the water meter and you can see it's fairly uh distant away from the actual media plus it's just pressing against this uh, water meter or, or yeah this this base almost so as soon as the um, bulb would start uh, it, it will press uh, against the water meter so it needs to come out even though it has a flower it's only one flower this is one is about to go it did have several spikes yeah this one did already have two spikes and I decided to give another one which is great of course and on this side of the plant we also have a beautiful new growth uh, which has some uh, roots and you can see they dried up they stopped growing but i think they will start growing again when uh, once we have this a bit lower in the pot so uh, that's the video for today let's uh, start and doing uh, this uh, job so and there we are at the upcutting table i'm not wearing gloves because this plant is uh, uh, for years in my collection and it's a healthy plant so i don't need them I just saw this new growth and you can see this one is not doing as mu uh, as good as this one so yeah but we will see what to do with that one if we're going to cut it off or not we, we will see we first need to take it out of the pot and I just saw the date it has now uh, been uh, two years in this setup so it's two years uh, ago that I did film this one as well but anyhow let's have a look yeah, this one has quite a uh, root system probably some dead roots in there as well but we have the healthy uh, roots also luckily it's growing in pumice i had it in quite a lot of syntic if i remember cor remember correctly but yeah a little bit of syntic they do like but not too much so i did have a uh, bottom layer of the bigger pumice and fill it up with the smaller ones so um yeah and some moss growing well anyhow uh, like i said it needs to come out and i first need to uh, untie it of course <laughs> that's a bit easier yeah i remember this one was getting quite top heavy that's why i did tie it against the water meter because the spikes were turning this one completely over this bulb <laughs> so yeah i needed to uh, to tie it and sometimes i just use the water uh, meters as a stake as well because it's convenient it's already there so why not use it <laughs> but here, here we go i'm sorry for the noise but yeah that uh, comes comes with repottings just squeezing the pot fairly gently to see if it can get it loosened up a little bit we even have some roots this one is uh, alive beautifully coming out of the pot but I will pull it back and I think it will be okay but so far I'm like uh, I do like what I'm seeing inside of the pot So let's put that one aside and I good in frame. Well, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can, I'm sorry. That was my head in front of the screen. 
just a little bit more like this so it's a little bit easier to see what's going on here but now i have a, a kind of job because when i'm busy i don't uh, i do forget if i'm in frame etc but i will try my best <laughs> i will try my best here we go so that water meter needs to come out it's fairly easy no roots attached so that can go now I need to decide what to do. Do we interfere with the roots or not? Uh, let me feel quickly. Yeah, this one is a little bit soft, but then again, this is always happening, but not on camera that often. But I hope you can see it fairly, there we are, fairly dark roots. And then you have this white tip. That's just a new uh, uh, tip of a new root or actually a branch, I should say, from that dark root. So yeah. They're, they're, those are not always dead. This is a beautiful example of that. So yeah, I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to lower it inside of the pot. Um, but do I use the same pot or not? No, I don't think so. Um, let me see first what to do. So the roots we're going to leave there. I need to make some decisions what to do. I want to take the mass off a little bit because there's a lot of mass and it's nice but it's also blocking the air but on the uh, here is not much mass so I'm probably I'm just checking if I can take it off very easily no, not that easy so I'm going to leave a bit that's okay as well then we have this new grow that isn't looking as beautiful as the one behind or, and uh, next to it i should say not behind let's take the sheets off and um, yeah, it's hard to explain but what i'd always do in these cases is just taking the seeds off and and just holding the the new growth and feel how strongly it is attached to the mother bulb mother plant and uh, it's firmly attached. I do have a old, well, not it, it's a dried up leaf there. So I'm going to check the crown if I can see something in there, and I can. And everything I see in there is green. It's firmly attached still, so I'm going to leave it. It probably will, no, yeah, if it matures, it will not be the best looking bulb, but it's healthy and it's trying. And it, this one has a beautiful root system. It has another new growth here, another one here. So I'm just going to leave it and we, we will see what happens. I hope I, uh, I think we do, but uh, we uh, it should be uh, nice to do an update when this is fully matured. If he can recognize and just see if she uh, still uh, did get mature or not that would be fun i think but yeah i like to take off those dry sheets so the new roots can go into the media a bit easier and i see some attempts of new roots so but those were almost yeah there are more roots coming so it's a good idea to take the sheets off the roots can uh, find their way a bit easier. Yeah, I do see a little bit of green on those roots. So it's active. Yeah, this is, uh, this is telling me that it can stay on the plant. But it's too dry. I, I think it's a little bit too dry. So therefore, uh, therefore this repot, of course. What I will do now, I'm going to look uh, for a, a, a little bigger pot. So the upcoming will be a little bit easier. So I will uh, will be back with a new setup here. <laughs> so here we are with the next setup. <laughs> Let me quickly explain the media that I'm going to use. The larger pumice over here, the smaller pumice over there. So it's the same it was already in. Uh, the only thing I don't have now is the Cintiq because I don't need it, I think. But otherwise it will be, uh, it's here on my upcoming table. But I think I have enough on those two. I'm choosing to plant this also in a net pot this is a fairly big one as you can see and it just quickly uh, checked it and it fall it goes in fairly deep deep in the pot which i like uh yeah it will be a pain one day if it does well with all those roots coming out to have to, to repot it but 
Uh, let me quickly show you, it, uh, guys. This is my oldest Miltonia, uh, Miltoniopsis. And it's also in this setup. And I mean, look at this. This one literally took off in this setup. And I think it has all to do with the high amount of moisture because of the reservoir and the wicking materials in there and a lot of air, as you can see. There's a lot of room still there. And yeah, these guys do love it. Some are a little bit up in the air as well. So maybe I need to put in a little bit of Cintiq there, but that's it. Just because they start climbing as this one does, as you can see. But as the rest, you can see it's looking so beautiful. I never had it so, so vigorous, vigorous growing. So yeah, I think this one really, really enjoys it. So I thought, well, let's do another one in the same setup and, and see and compare in the near future because it's nice to find better systems that work for uh, uh, different types of plants, I should say. And these Miltoniopsis need and do like the high immunity, of course. So if this works, well, well yeah, why not? Of course, <laughs> let's try it again. So I'm going to do the, basically the same thing to start with. Well, actually, this is the same water meter I just took out. I just cleaned it very quickly, but I, uh, I will uh, use it again. Fill this up. Just a bottom bottom layer like this. Even though the this root system is adjusted to uh, to obviously to a self watering setup, I still like to put them a little bit higher. And otherwise, it was too deep in a in a pot as well. So that's a bit of bonus. Um, yeah, let's put this one to the side so we can see a little bit better. I put it on the floor, so <laughs> I hope I don't will I, I will not step on it. <laughs> but anyhow, so yeah, let's see how far we are. You can see the roots coming underneath there. <laughs> yeah, this is the rim of the pot. So if if I place my hand there, it's about the same level as the plant. The new growth I'm watching at this side. Yeah, it's about the same size. So let's uh, let's have a look. Is it nicely placed? Well, actually, you see, I could took, take off a few more sheets here while we add it on this new growth to make her life a little bit easier as well. <laughs> get those new roots to grow into the media instead of upwards into the air i'm going to break this uh, leaf still green but i do this because like i said i want those new roots in there so and it's a bit sturdy but it will come off and there you go and that will uh, start to brown up eventually any, anyways. But I see new nubbins here. So that is good, but to be honest, yeah, it's still a little bit high in that pot. It's a little bit too much. So I'm going to take out a little bit more media. thought it was okay, but no, I don't like it. I want it deeper in there. Let me check again. So I try to do this on eye level. You cannot see that. I think, you know, if I'm putting <laughs> my head like that, but I to eyeball it a little bit. It's a bit easier. Yeah. Still not happy with it, actually. You know what? Take some more out. Now it looks fairly deep. Yeah, this is better. This is absolutely better. Now it's on a right level. I was a little bit distracted by the older bulbs that are a little bit deeper in there, but I needed to watch the new growth, of course, a bit more. I don't want to bury the old uh, bulbs too much, but I think it would be fine. Yeah, this is it. So what we're we going to do, I have the media I just used, the pumice, and underneath there, the darker ones, as you can see, those are wet are uh, coming from this plant. I'm just going to reuse them. So put this around. There. What meter? You need to stay up. 
And I need to lift this one a little bit. There we go. That is that media. So a little bit did fall next to the pot. What to do, what to do? Because the small media will fall through the holes most of the time. Um, I'm going to use a little bit more of this bigger pumice. I'm going to place those on the outs outside of the pot. Well, at least I try. <laughs> like this. So as I'm going, I'm I'm trying to find the actual way to really how I want to up up this. That's how I always work because I just need to see and while I'm working with it, I'm, I'm rethinking stuff, uh, thinking ahead. What will happen if this starts to grow? Is there enough room? Uh, if it still keeps on climbing, can I leave it in this spot? All those things. So that's why I'm sometimes sound a little bit hesitating, but that's because I start rethinking my approach. <laughs> So maybe you heard it in my voice, but that's uh, how I uh, like to do these things. Yeah, this should be fine, I think. Let's grab the smaller pumice, which is always a bit uh, dusty. So yeah, let's try to blow the dust away. <laughs> Twisting and turning. You see? I hope you can, can see that. Those are the new roots of the uh, new growth we just talked about, who were uh, stopped growing because they are a bit, um, they were too dry. And now I can just even put some media on there. So that's beautiful. So that means that we took the right choices by getting it out of the pot, getting some media back out when we started. Yeah, sometimes it may take a little bit longer, but I think it's very important. And again, grabbing a little bit of the bigger pumice for the outer side here. To prevent that a smaller pumice to fall out too much. Let me check, put, put in a little bit here. There we go. Just a little bit more over here. Yes. Like that. And I'm going to show a close up soon. So you can see it a little bit. Actually, I'm going to do it now. <laughs> so here we are. And look at the base of the new growth. That was what I'm trying to refer to. So I have covered most of the roots there yeah basically everything and the same with that one just uh, i'm sorry next to the water meter fairly close and some roots are even touching the media and that's good especially for a miltoniopsis so now we're going to grab a top layer of pebbles these beautiful nice gray pebbles and if they are wet, they are, are almost black. And I like this. There we go. It also makes the, makes the pots a bit heavier, which I do like as well. It helps stabilizes the plants. Well, this one also has a beautiful root system. But the ones that don't have that many roots, it's, it's nice to have some pebbles on top as well. I'm going to lift this one one more time, just a little bit. To put some uh, pebbles around there. And let me check. I like to uh, put pebbles 
next to the other bulbs as well here in the uh, back of the plant i hope you can see it there is an old bulb i put some more pebbles there instead of pumice because i don't want them too wet and uh, pebbles are not wicking where the pumice is obviously so i leave a little bit of a gap there and i fill it with pebbles so it looks that all is even but i know that the older bulbs have more pebbles around them once again so they do not get uh, wet and you probably know that these guys <laughs> the miltoniopsis are known to get that uh incredibly annoying uh, orange rot so to avoid that uh, my suggestion is uh, don't uh, put the pebbles uh, pebbles don't put the bulbs too deep in your pot if you can avoid it if you have to put them in an angle like this use more uh, pebbles around all the bulbs so it looks nice it looks all even but you know that uh, those bulbs are not getting too wet and i should knock on wood which i'm now doing <laughs> but um since at least for two years i don't have any orange rot anymore even with this very wet setup that i have what you want to do is once again the bulbs on a good level so not too deep uh, you want to keep the moisture of course because that's the setup the immunity but air movement air flow that is very important so if you have covered those three and of course not too much fertilizer and nice balanced ph water etc which for me is almost obvious but if you have that balance you should get them to grow and don't stress them basically well i know it's very easy set i know it i know it but it's doable you guys it took me about four or five years to get them like this and they they can still do better i, I know i they they absolutely can and that's a challenge for me which i like which i like i did uh, accept my miltoniopsis challenge <laughs> And I'm trying, and that's why I'm trying new setups, like uh, we just saw my uh, oldest one, the biggest one. And that really tells me that it likes this net pot, so why not use it on this one as well? And see how it goes. So what I do now is I'm obviously going to clean up, and I'm going to flush this one with RO water and some seaweed. I am a uh, strong believer of the benefits of seaweed, just a little bit, but, but they, it really helps so much to get them uh, adjusted into a new situation as well. The seaweed really uh, activates the root growth and makes your plants uh, feel less stressed, basically. It works, in my opinion, it works. I see, I can almost tell that it works because I, I can watch the plants uh, react to it very beautifully. So that's what I'm going to do. And after that, I will meet you again and we will have a uh, last look at it. So, and there she is, back on her shelf. So yeah, this is the smaller one. I just put it a little bit close to the light because it was getting fairly dark. So I thought, well, maybe it needs a little bit more light. And this is the one we just did a repot. And there are the pebbles again. You can see they are now almost black because I just flushed her with a bit of, like I said, RO water and seaweed. And also I did fill up the whole reservoir. You can see there the reflection of the water and also the water meter, that red uh, stripey thing you can see. So we have a reservoir. That's also just the RO water with seaweed because I just had it already there and I like to keep it a little bit low after a uh, sort of a, a bit of a stressful situation. I'm not going to feed it too much. Next week I will, because I think it, it will just adjust because it wasn't uh, a big change, but I hope uh, that does make sense. And oh, b before I forget, <laughs> like I always do, because I get these questions which I do get about the care for Miltoniopsis. And so I like to mention that I do have a fairly long care guide. It was one of my care collapse uh, about the Miltoniopsis. It's about an hour long, but I try to put every information in there and yeah, basically the care information didn't change. The only thing is that I'm not trying the net, net pots out. And so far uh, I only yeah, have this one in a net pot and the bigger one over there, one here and this one. Um, but yeah, so far it looks fine. I have the best results with my Miltoniopsis with those net pots. 
so that's a bit different but I'm still trying them so uh, I will do a if it really really works I will do one a separate video on them but yeah obviously uh, like it's no, not obviously <laughs> but like I said I have a care guide on the Miltoniopsis and the rest didn't change I don't feed them much like my other orchids they don't need a lot of feeds and yes uh, I did leave this flower on because I think it will do well because of the root system so uh, and I thought I should mention that as well because I can imagine that plant, uh, plants people ask about that because normally when you do re repot your plants you would like to take off especially uh, if, if you stretch them the, the flower spikes but I didn't do it because I think it's uh, it has a beautiful root system and it will maintain it and this one has been here for a while so it probably is going uh, away anyhow pretty soon so yeah i think that is uh, pretty much everything that i could think of but obviously feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and yes you guys it's great to be back even though i wasn't really gone <laughs> but i uh, but i hope you uh, like this video as well please let me know oh yeah oh yeah and i just want to mention the moss you see this is a bit of a situation here i have so many moss growing on it's beautiful but it's a little bit desiccating for some i think so uh yeah keeping an eye on that but i probably need to take out and you can see here it's a bit of a brown spot i should take that out to uh to uh, let them have the air they really like the air as well plus the high immunity okay that's it you guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and of course if you didn't already please consider subscribing to my channel for now uh, once again thank you for watching and i really hope to see you at one of my next videos so bye bye